Did you ever envision that someday you would be the youngest woman in U.S. history, in U.S. history, to run a major metro newsroom? Yeah, I saw it all coming. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I had, the first editor I had um, who said, well, one day you'll be an editor, I said, yeah, no way would I ever do that. I will never be an editor. And I saw him the other day in the newsroom, and he was like, I told you, you would be an editor. <laughs> I was like, okay, it turns out you knew something. No, I didn't. And I, you know, I, I applied to be an intern at the Chronicle three years in college, and I got rejected. I actually, Did I didn't you even, really? I didn't even get rejected. I just got nothing. <laughs> I didn't even get didn't a reply. Didn't even bother to like, you know, bother. say anything to you. Three years. And when, when my husband and I moved here, he, the, he I, had, I had only been here like as a, a child, and he said, where do you want to go in San Francisco? And the first thing I said is, I want to go to Fifth and Mission and see the Chronicle building. And then when I saw it, I was like, that's it? But <laughs> that's not the point. I wanted to work there from the very beginning. So, but no, you can never imagine that. But I also don't like having bosses very much. <laughs> so I always thought, like, well, I can see what they're doing. I, I would like to try to do that. <laughs> so That's got to feel pretty good. You got turned down, or you didn't even get a reply uh, to try to be an, an intern at the Chronicle. And now you run the Chronicle. Yeah, I, I always joke that someday I'm going to meet that intern coordinator. I still remember her name. <laughs> I won't say it. But someday I'm going to meet so-and-so and say, I mean, she was probably right. She was probably right. I probably wasn't ready. But now I take a huge interest in our interns. And, um, and I tell them all that story. I'm like, you're already ahead of me where I was. So you guys will be fine. <laughs>